hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Imani and you are watching along the pages <laughs> Okay, so it is actually, today is June 16th and it is currently 5 o'clock and I figured, oh, also today's Father's Day, even though I can't seem to find my father, which is why I'm making this video. We're not trying to find my dad, but basically I thought I was going to come home and watch movies with him, but he's not here, which means I get to continue reading the book that has and captivated me for the past like maybe six hours so I just got off of work and I was reading with the fire on high by Elizabeth Acevedo Acevedo I still don't know um, and I'm really enjoying it so far I was hesitant to pick this up because I was like hmm like Oh, before I get into this, I decided to make a quick reading vlog because I've been missing vlogging and I wanted to make a reading vlog, but I was like, it's not going to be long enough. And then I realized, like, Ashley Outpage just posted a 15-minute vlog and I lived for it. So if she could do it, I could do it. <laughs> I am really enjoying this and I was hesitant to pick this book up because I have been in such a rom-com, um, uplifted, light-hearted book reading thing lately <laughs> what anyway i've just been really enjoying lighthearted books lately for the beginning of summer for june and i just from what i heard about this book it's really good but i then like it's not lighthearted and it really is not lighthearted so far i will tell you but regardless i am still really enjoying it like the writing like this is the first book that i've read by her i have not read the poet x yet but i plan on it but her writing is so lyrical it is insane but also another thing that i'm enjoying about this book is the fact that the chapters are so short like it's probably about three pages a chapter and for some reason it just makes the reading go by so much faster like i know that i'm not reading like these thick chapters and i'm reading them so fast i know they're small but like it just makes it go by so fast and just the way that she's writing this is it's just so good so good i'm really enjoying it so my dad's not home he's got mia it's father's day so he can do that whatever but i'm going to take this opportunity to read as much as i can before he does get home and vlog it because why not and also i do look a mess but i don't look too much i look a messy mess okay so we're just gonna go with that i'm gonna make a take a quick thumbnail because i always forget to do so so I just read a part that where basically Imani, sort of like my name, Amani. People actually call me Imani all the time and it freaking drives me insane. But anyway, um, <laughs> I just read a part where she says that she has to put her hair up in a pineapple. Okay, Elizabeth, come through, come through. Because I don't know, if you don't have curly hair or if you're not, you know, okay, I'm just gonna say if you don't have curly hair, then you probably don't know what a pineapple is, but it's basically when you take your headscarf and you, this, this is a pineapple. 
yeah and it's just so nice of her like not nice of her but it's like so refreshing to hear like that term in a book because it's something that you would not have heard normally you hear i just put my hair up in a ponytail but she said i put my hair up into a pineapple and i'm just really i just i'm feeling it i'm feeling it so <laughs> continue the vlog sorry i had to look at myself and see what the heck i was looking like i hate when i wear my hair up in the bun but anyway let's talk really quick i am on page 152 of with the fire on high and i'm still loving it i'm still enjoying it it's really good and i really have no complaints the love interest so far i really like it's like slow simmer and it's so cute and i don't know i just really like imani i like her character I love her friendship with her best friend. Like, can you say freaking gold? And I like how Imani is just so strong and she's been through so much and she's just rolling with punches. Like, she has so much stuff going on and she's not letting any of it stop her and I really like that. She was kind of getting on my nerves um, with her decisions in her class. I'm not going to go into details if you haven't read the book, but that part was kind of bothering me, but other than that, I'm really, really, really enjoying it. Um, and yeah, also this vlog was just supposed to be from yesterday. Today is now June 17th, um, 5.42. I think I started the vlog this time yesterday. That's funny. Um, but anyway, it was just supposed to be for yesterday. But I decided why not keep it going for maybe like two more days or so. So we're just going to keep on going. Hopefully I can finish this book within this vlog and this can just be a with the fire on high vlog. I feel like that would be way better. So I'm going to really start to speed read so I can get it done in this vlog. But yeah, I'm just really happy. I'm really enjoying it and it is kind of just what I need right now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm only on page 166, but this chapter is called Netflix No Chill. I just, I really, really, truly, truly love Elizabeth Acevedo's writing. Acevedo, Acevedo, I, I feel like it's Acevedo. Netflix No Chill. 
and I'm still at work, you guys. Today is now Tuesday, which means the last time that I spoke to you was in this exact same spot yesterday. And I am currently, sorry, I look crazy right now, hold on. That was my phone. I am currently on page 267 of With the Fire and High, still loving it. This reads like a TV show, to be honest with you. Like, it's not really that much conflict, which if you watch Emma, Books with Emma, I think that's her channel, but she's the main booktuber, we all know her. Um, Emma basically mentioned in her reading vlog about how she really did enjoy the book. She gave her five out of five stars, but she did say that it wasn't enough conflict for her. Um, I have noticed that it is a lack of conflict, but not, and she said this in the same way, not in a bad way like there's still conflict that goes on but it's little conflicts as if you're watching a tv show and every episode is just this little conflict that is either overcome or just kind of understood and dealt with sorry i apologize there was a guest i just got interrupted but i am really enjoying it it's reading like a tv show but not in a bad way at all like in a way that we just get to know yvonne better we get to know her daughter we get to know the love interest her family it's just really good. Um, sorry about that. So, um, anyway, I forgot what I was saying, but I'm really enjoying it nonetheless. Um, and I am getting through it very fast. So, here's the plan it is 8 25. I get off of work at 11 30 tonight. So, I am going to. I finished my bookings for the day, which means I have nothing but time. I'm going to read as many chapters as I can, edit my video that I'm supposed to be posting tomorrow, and then read more chapters. Hopefully, so hopefully I can finish this book by tonight, if not early morning tomorrow. So let's just see how this goes. I'll see you when I update you again. I have just been hit with a, I let go of a breath I didn't know I'd been holding for literally the third time in this book. Third. Elizabeth. since the last time I updated this video, um, this vlog, I'm sorry. I can't, it's been so long to the point where I can't even remember the last day that I uploaded. Um, but let's just say that today is 4th of July, so if you hear any poppings like that, that's just fireworks. Um, this is kind of like an impulse film thing, but basically, um, yeah, today's 4th of July. Last time I updated, I'm sure, pretty sure it had to have been like June 18th or something like that. So anyway, it's 4th of July. Well, technically it's July 5th now, but it's 12.29 at night and I just got home from the party festivities and I was like, you know what? I need to close out that vlog. I finished that book and it's a whole damn new month. So I'm gonna close it out. Also, the main reason why I had pretty much stopped is because I had put the book down because I went to go take my test. And if you can tell by the smile on my face, I freaking passed my test. So that is finally over, thank God. And now we can officially read and enjoy the summer so let's just talk about with the fire on high very quickly so i finished this book um oh oh my gosh i let my sister use my nail polish and she somehow manages to get it all over my comforter and my book She's 12, people. <sighs> Look at this. Can you see it? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna freaking kill her. That's just really 
irritated me. Anyway, I finished this book and I really, really did enjoy it. I have already, I feel like I've already kind of reviewed this book because I've mentioned it in other videos so many times, but basically, um, what am I doing? This is a vlog. You guys already know what this book is about. Um, anyway, I really enjoyed this book. I ended up giving it a four out of five stars, I believe. I should actually fact check that. Yes, I believe I gave it a four out of five stars. So I gave it a four out of five stars because I really did enjoy this book. But wait, why am I talking about this? Like this is my wrap up. No. So yes, I finished this book and I just went into a whole entire wrap up edition of it until I realized that I am going to be filming a wrap up for the month of June. And being that I only finished about three books in the month of June, I need to save that wrap up for I need to save that review for that wrap up. So basically just know that I finished this book. I really enjoyed it and I gave it a four out of five stars. But I have some some things I want to talk about the book. Some things that I want to talk about from the book, with the book, in the book. So we'll get to it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this vlog was all over the place, and I know that this clip is so late and random. But I apologize. But it's because I needed to pass my test. And now that I have passed my test, vlogs will be coming, people. Vlogs will be coming. And I should be moving soon. So it's just gonna be it's just gonna be good. Okay, it's just gonna be good. Um, but I just wanted to get that out the way. Also, I picked up Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertali. And basically I'm currently on page 32 and I actually really am enjoying this book and I'm kind of mad at myself that it's taken me so long to pick this up So anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching this vlog more videos coming soon more vlogs coming soon and Yeah, I'm so sorry. This is all over the place, but It's just kind of what you get. Thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you in the next one Thinking about one thing mostly Yeah, yeah